Okay, my friends, so without further ado, we are going to create uh, or start to create a track. Um, the first video of the track is going to have no sound. So the next video you, you see um, will have no sound inside of Ableton, meaning it'll just be my voice producing. I'll be able to hear my sound out of Ableton, but you will not. And the reason for that is I really want you to pay attention to the perspective that is to say, your mindset, uh, when I rob you of that ability to hear the samples that I pick. Here's why. A lot of people get obsessed with, listen to his track, listen to his drums, listen to the sounds he comes up with. How does he do it? How does he do it? Oh, my, my kick has to sound exactly like his. It doesn't. Because fans are not going to hold your music right up against someone else's music and A, B it back and forth like this uh, and compare and contrast. They're going to listen to it on the way to work. They're going to listen to it on the way to the beach. They're going to listen to it in clubs. They just don't break it down like that. They don't consume music that way. So I want you to get out of the mindset of building a track and possibly saying to yourself, yeah, but this doesn't sound like Mikey, or this doesn't sound like Kygo, or this doesn't sound like Don Diablo, or Marshmello, or whoever. Um, pick your samples and your sounds. Just watch for the techniques in the mindset. The overall mindset is the key here. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.